Caleb, you, you had 30 last night. RJ had 30 against Baylor. Brady had 28 against Marquette. A lot of people say this tournament's about defense, but for you guys it's about also offense and having different guys that can go off. When you're, you're going off or an RJ's going off or Brady's going off, do you sense the other defense is stressing at that time and, and how to kind of figure you guys out? Yeah, for sure. You know, we got so many offensive weapons. Uh, you, you know, you got, we got me, uh, Brady, Mondo, RJ, uh, Lee, getting down here um, and taking open shots. And so, you know, it's hard to guard us. Uh, you know, it's, it's difficult because uh, you can't just take one person away. You know, usually it's like one or two players that, that teams have that, uh, you know, you can key on. But we got five guys that can go get. In the four of you, especially, Armando included, are so unique. You guys are all different, very different players. Do you think part of the time that it took you guys to develop that chemistry is the fact that you're four very uniquely different players? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, we played a lot of minutes together, so we know uh, where, where we like uh, each other's spots and uh, where to find each other, so, uh, yeah. What's it been like better for you playing off the ball more as a shooting guard? How's it helped you in the last couple months, I guess? Uh, I, I feel like it's, you know, uh, takes a lot of pressure off of, uh, you know, uh, RJ and me, uh, uh, depending on uh, who has the ball, it doesn't really matter. Um, I feel like, you know, um, I'm more comfortable uh, on the ball or uh, than I am off the ball, but, you know, uh, it's just how the plays work. Uh, you know, if, if who brings the ball up, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if RJ brings the ball up, I bring the ball up. It doesn't matter. What's it like yesterday, last night? And like everything feels like it's going in really like that hot. Like, what's that like as a player? You're well, in that you, zone. You just, yeah, you're just in that zone, uh, you know. Uh, things were clicking. Um, like I said in the other uh, interview that I was getting downhill and then everything else opened up for myself and others, uh, you know, and I was still playmaking for it. And it was hard for, for them to key on, you know, Brady. They kept leaving him open. Uh, I know he was missing uh, shots that he usually makes, but, you know, they kept leaving him open because, uh, you know, the coaching staff, uh, Coach Davis and the coaching staff, they made so many adjustments during the game uh, that that was unbelievable. So, uh, you know, it was it was great. Is it awesome? Things like that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was that moment like after the game with your mom? Saw that kind of go viral a little bit, you guys hugging each other. What was that like? What that mean to you? You know, I just, you know, uh, I, I just felt her love. Uh, you know, uh, she knows uh, better than anybody what I've been through and, and um, I'm, I'm doing this for my parents, uh, you know. Uh, they they raised me to be the person I am today, and they uh, my motivation. Uh, seeing them go to work every day and uh, work work as hard as they do, uh, you know, it, it's nothing but me giving back to them. There's Kid, stuff Kid. going on. I saw the Drew Hanlon picture from the summer. I, I imagine that has something to do with maybe Jason Tatum. I know he worked with him. Mm -hmm. How did you kind of get connected with Drew, and how did he affect your the jump shot? And, we obviously saw a lot going last night. Yeah, me and Drew uh, never really, like, uh, talked um, much, but, you know, we always knew each other, and, uh, you know, he's from St. Louis, so, uh, and he had a great college career. Uh, he holds, like, one of the best three-point records at Belmont, uh, and so, uh, you know, I, I, I felt like that was what I needed to take that next step in, in my game, and, and so I, I just connected with him, uh, knowing he trains uh, Jason and Brad, so, uh, that's what we did this summer, and uh, he, he definitely, I take a lot of my success to him. Is there anything specific that changed about your shot or about your game that came from that? Uh, yeah, he just told me um, just a lot about my ball placement and, you know, keeping my back straight um, and a lot of, lot of little, little tweaks and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, like I said, uh, he, he definitely helped me. Caleb, would it be fair to say that your game becomes more your game when you're kind of yapping a lot on the court, when you're talking a lot and gesturing. And last night you had one of those drives you converted in the lane, just flexing all the way up the court. Is that part of your game? Yeah, for sure. You know, I, um, and that's not just for show. It's, you know, it just comes uh, my competitive nature coming out. Um, I'm not doing that, uh, just going at anybody, but that's just me competing. Uh, you know, I feel like me being from St. Louis, that's that's I carry that with me everywhere I go, and so. Um, it doesn't matter who it is. I'm, uh, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. I noticed you started doing that a lot on the road later in the year. Louisville was the game. You know, as testy as that game was, yeah. you had to turn over the end of regulation and then hit the first three. And you just like you were almost playing to the fans. You were kind of yelling at the students a little bit. 
is that part of your game more comfortable now than it was earlier in the year? And was that sort of a point where it really started coming out more? Yeah, for sure. I, f I feel like I always had it. I just, you know, got to gotta have it all the time, you know. Uh, and then just me getting, a, getting, getting my emotions involved and, and me, uh, the competitive nature I have, uh, you know, it just, it always comes up. What, what is 